and must be able to speak English at the required level for 10 points. Dang. The remaining 20. Dang! Howdy, y'all. My name's Mike. I live in Houston, Texas. Today, I want to talk about, well, I guess, figure. I want, I want to learn, and then you can watch me try to learn. <laughs> um, what's going on with Brexit? I, the gist that I've gotten is that the UK is leaving the EU. And in America, it's just not brought up very much. But I know that it's a big deal. So um, I got my beer here. I got to give a disclaimer about this beer. So if you look at my other videos, I drink whiskey on the rocks. Um, drink all kinds of other beers. So this beer I got may not be the manliest beer, but I got one of these bad boys. Whatever, it's got alcohol, so cheers. Pink. All right, let's learn about Brexit. This video is from TLDR News. Hit them with a like. Helps their channel out. And let's uh, give it a listen. Hello, and welcome to another TLDR EU video. It feels like it's taken an eternity, but the UK and EU have finally reached a Brexit deal. After years of waiting... <laughs> How do you like that walk? The UK That's and what I'm EU talking about. have finally reached a Brexit deal. Yeah, After years of waiting and weeks of immutable <laughs> deadlines coming and going, it's here in all its glory. The issue being that it's not exactly come at the best time for anyone. For businesses, ordinary citizens and our team, we all have just a couple of days to readjust and prepare for the new future relationship. So in this video, we're going to take a look at exactly what will change on January 1st from the perspective of Europeans and the European Union. If you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more news from Europe. Also, if you're interested in the UK side of this story, what changes for Brits from January 1st, then we made a video over on the TLDR UK channel which explains that. It's linked down below. For better or for worse, the EU has lost one of its largest and most influential members. And this has a whole variety of impacts, but the most immediate ramifications spark from changes at the border. Travel, education, fishing, food, services, transport, family. Fishing. That's interesting. I guess there's so many countries all bunched up with not a lot of ocean in, in between them that I could see why that would be an issue. I mean, we just, we pretty much got no one to our east or west, essentially. You know what I mean? As far as oceans go in the U.S. So, and there's no bodies of water worth note between, I guess, you know, the Great Lakes of Michigan between us and Canada, but... I'm pretty sure that we I think those are just ours. But anyway, yeah, I would have, that's something I wouldn't have even thought of as fishing. While freedom of movement remains unchanged for the EU27, the UK is no longer part of the club. That means that from the new year, the UK is expected to bring into force a new points-based immigration system, explicitly designed to treat EU and non-EU citizens alike. EU, EEA and Swiss citizens will be able to travel to the UK for so-called short trips without needing a visa. Longer stays and employment in the UK will require an application under the new points-based system, requiring a minimum of 70 points, of which 50 are non-negotiable. Offer job, job at appropriate skill level. People wanting to work in the UK will require an offer of a job from a Home Office approved sponsor, that's 20 points. A job at an appropriate skill level, that's another 20 points, and must be able to speak English at the required level for 10 points. Dang. The remaining tw Dang. 20 points can be obtained through salary levels, identified job shortages, PhDs, or any combination of the above. When it comes to travel, from the 1st of October 2021, national ID cards will no longer be valid for EU travellers entering the UK, except in very particular circumstances. For instance, those with settled or pre-settled status. On that front, EU citizens currently in the UK may stay in the UK as long as they've applied for and obtained settled status under the EU settlement scheme. Air travellers arriving at London Heathrow or Gatwick from the EU will still be able to use the same e-gate passport checks as British citizens, joining rest of the world passengers solely for customs checks, with further preferential treatment agreements likely to arrive in the coming weeks and months. Moving on to education, the UK is also set to leave the Erasmus programme. 
invariably meaning that UK-based universities and entities will no longer be able to participate in the scheme. I'm not sure what that is. If someone wants to tell me like in the comments, I read all the comments. Um, I'm curious. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's some kind of curriculum, but I don't know. This will potentially cut off EU students from studying, at least temporarily, in UK higher education institutions. EU nationals wow. who do wish to study first and foremost in the UK will ultimately be subject to the same new immigration rules regime we mentioned. What is that? Mentioned earlier, and they may also encounter higher international fees. On a more macro level, it wouldn't be an EU video on Brexit without mentioning fishing. While the UK will claim sovereignty over its waters in the new year, it will take some time for that sovereignty to be fully fleshed out. EU boats will continue to be able to access British waters for five and a half years, and over this period UK fishing boats will gradually get a greater and greater share of the catch. After battling until literally the last minute, and from widely different figures, an agreement was eventually settled on at a 25% reduction in the EU's catch over a period of five and a half years, yet another transition period. The first year will see a reduction in the EU's catch by 15%, with 2.5% each and every year after that. After this transition period, there will be annual negotiations where the UK and EU are able to reassign quotas. The UK could, in theory, take back full control of their waters from 2026, but the deal says that if they did, the EU could slap back, imposing harsh tariffs on the UK. So, overnight, on January 1st... Wow, that's some... Like, this This guy's making light of it, but... I mean, I remember in the history books, you know, the that England and, and, and Britain, you know, that... All of the continent of Great Britain just being known for powerful navies. Times have changed. It's been, you know, almost 300 years since the revolution. But, um, you know, if that's their fish, that's their livelihood. Uh, people have gone to war for less serious stuff than that, you know. So that's kind of, that's some juicy stuff, actually. First 2021, there's going to be little change on the fishing front. And ultimately, that's an argument for another day. If you want to know more about the fishing situation, then there's a link in the description to a full video we've released about it. On the food front, there may end up being some disruption to supply chains, such as those we've seen in Dover due to the closure of the French border. According to the Financial Times, in an overview published by the European Commission, it was suggested that the EU would immediately implement tough new checks on agri-food products with no grace period, potentially leading to perishable goods becoming caught up in border queues, according to the President of the National Farmers Union. The EU will also lose immediate access to professional service providers. From doctors and vets to engineers and architects, Professions will not automatically be recognised after the 31st of December, meaning those with UK qualifications may have to jump over some regulatory hurdles in order to get those qualifications recognised going forward. In a similar vein, financial service... Wow, okay, so that's saying if you're like a... I mean, I don't know what certifications are required over um, overseas, but that could that seems like that could have a pretty substantial impact on... I'm just the everyday guy, just a just a worker that the, the way he's able to get his jobs is because of some certification he has. That's a big deal. Businesses are also going to be affected. A number of UK registered and regulated banks have already announced plans to close accounts of citizens resident in the European Union or European Economic Area. Oh boy. For instance, Barclays has announced that Brits in Belgium, Estonia, Italy and Slovakia will have their accounts closed if they do not have a UK address. Coots will close accounts for all Brits living in the EEA, while Nationwide plans to close the accounts of those in Italy and the Netherlands, and is taking legal advice as to other countries. On a more macro level when it comes to finance, the deal doesn't really cover financial service access between the UK and EU markets, in spite of the City of London continuing to manage the vast, vast majority of euro clearing transactions. On the transport front, hmm. UK airlines will no longer be permitted to fly from one point in the EU to another, 
For instance, an EasyJet flight from Stockholm to Brussels would no longer be covered by existing arrangements. In turn, airlines on both sides have established foreign subsidiaries to conform with the new requirements, meaning that while EasyJet UK would be unable to fly that route, EasyJet Europe, registered in Vienna, would. And finally, let's discuss family. That's just kind of confusing, uh, but that's so bizarre. I mean, the, all these European countries are so close together um, that it's weird to think that you'd have to go through so much trouble to move. I mean, I, I don't know. That's, this seems like a seriously really big deal. While the UK was a member of the European Union, it was ultimately subject to the four freedoms. The freedom of movement of goods, capital, persons, and services. This freedom of movement of persons... I like those freedoms. It's good. Good freedoms. ...allowed EU family members of British citizens to move with them to the UK automatically and without question. Again, from the 1st of January 2021, a whole new immigration regime is coming into force. All EU citizens, barring Irish citizens, will be subject to UK immigration rules, removing the automatic right for EU family members to join British citizens in the UK. That's a, that's a big hot topic debate in the US too, is because if we have, we get a lot of illegal immigration from Mexico and, um, the the big the big thing is this i mean there's all kinds of drama with what they call anchor babies um not me that's just what the media calls it but where by Amer by us law if you are born in america then you are an american citizen right so what was happening was people would come over illegally and then birth their child in the united states and so it created like a conf a confusing you know my personal belief is that if the law states if you're born in America, then you are an American citizen. I mean, that's, you know what I mean? I don't know how you can really debate that, but the, the question comes into if the child is a U.S. citizen by law, then what about the parents who came here illegally? Should they be deported and then take their child with them? Do you, separating them seems like a horrible thing, but do, do you reward them by letting them stay? I don't know. You know, it's... It, it gets difficult. And so I can only imagine people that are in in the UK saying they're legally, they're lawfully, and all of a sudden the law just gets pulled out from under them. Oh boy, that's a that can cause some serious issues, I imagine. So ultimately, on the EU side, the changes are relatively limited, with Brits more affected by the immediate Brexit transition. But that's not to say that these changes will be the be-all and end-all. And it ultimately must be remembered that this is one of the only trade deals in history where both sides have started with complete regulatory alignment and wish to actually diverge, become further apart. The opposite of basically every other trade deal in history. In fact, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has already made explicit comments stating that the UK will diverge over the coming months and years, a divergence that will invariably impact the EU and the people living and working in it, even in ways that we can't predict just yet. If you're interested how things are set to change on January... F Man, so that sounds like a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, I'm really curious... I. I've noticed that a lot of my viewers are specifically from the UK or Ireland uh, when because that's what I'm talking about. But um, if anyone's from any other European country, I'm really curious. Like this is this is what I'm I'm trying to find and I can't find it. I want to I don't want to see what a pundit or what the news has to say. I'm curious the inner workings. You know what I mean? What, what the people that live there actually think? What you know? Are they like you know? Oh, this guy didn't mention that you know these guys are assholes or you know what I mean? Like why, why like Boris Johnson, why is he so like, we're out of here. Why is EU agreeing? And it, it sounds, I could see like, hopefully it's, there's no wars, obviously that we don't want that, but you know, that seems like a very volatile situation because all the European countries are so scrunched together. You know, Texas in and of itself would take up a giant portion of all of Europe. You know what I mean? So, um, 
you know, so we have a lot of states, we have a lot of land, our neighbors seem, you know, far away and, um, and we only have two really to worry about Canada and Mexico. Whereas in Europe, it's like, you're just 360 degrees surrounded by so many different countries and so many different laws and they're so close together. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm curious. So if you live, um, either in the UK or in any other European country, I'm really curious. What's the, what's the, what's really going on with that? You know what I mean? What, what is the inner working? So please comment. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and, uh, be safe.